Good afternoon everybody and thank you so much for joining in today. This video is a demo where I'll be walking over the complete project and end-to-end -end demo. Uh, this was a really amazing, fun and complex project. We essentially did every single thing in DynamoDB. So this project was about LinkedIn, right? People will have, uh, you know, on LinkedIn people can create several posts. I'll just refresh your memory and then I show you a demo. So user will have name, first name, everything, you know, user can create post, user can also like on a video or basically comment on a, on a post or like on a, on a post, right? We essentially uh, note down all the access pattern. We essentially designed the DynamoDB table. We did the NoSQL data modeling. For example, here is the view for user, right? For a user, I can fetch everything, right? For a given post, I can fetch all the likes. I can fetch all the comments and who are the associated user. Now I did talk about a aggregate pipeline and I did essentially also show you the infrastructure code which is roughly 160 to 170 line of code. Uh, this essentially creates the entire infrastructure of our project and I'll show you a small demo. Please follow your um, attention on the pointer, the red box. So as soon as a, a user uh, is created on LinkedIn, right? He will essentially create posts, right? So some people will comment on the post, some people will like on the post. All those events are broadcasted to Kinesis data stream. Now we will have a preprocessor Lambda. This preprocessor Lambda is gonna take the data from DynamoDB, convert into a regular JSON, and all of this is happening near real time and at a very, very high uh, pace. Once that happens, now this data gets inserted into an SQS queue where we are doing a long polling, uh, then this uh, lambda over here, the stats lambda, is going to take batch batches of data and essentially update our dev LinkedIn aggregate table. So what happens is basically all the likes, all the comments that are generated, now we'll, we'll have a new table where we will see for a given post how many people like, how many people commented, how many people, you know, all the interaction basically uh, that is happening on a particular post. And all of this would happen real time and now I would like to uh, show you a following demo. Again, all of this code is there in the description. Uh, I will walk you over the code shortly, uh, just over the project structure. So if you observe, if you come to the project, you will have a folder called project. Here are the test file. Here are the populate uh, DynamoDB data. data. So this is gonna basically populate the DynamoDB database, right? Now over here is the modeling exercise that we did, right? Uh, all the data modeling exercise. Coming down uh, here, this is called Lambda function. This is the Kinesis preprocessor Lambda that is gonna convert uh, Dynamo JSON to a regular JSON. This is our stats Lambda, which will take the data from the SQS and then essentially gonna update our uh, DynamoDB uh, table. Now let's see everything in action. It's absolutely fun to watch all this in action. Here you can see this is the primary table that is called dev.linkedin and here is I have a table called dev LinkedIn stat. This is populated through the Kinesis data stream, the real time pipeline, okay? If you observe right now, I do not have anything. I just have flushed everything out just for the demo purposes, as you can see. Okay, so this is our two LinkedIn table. This is our Kinesis data stream. As you can see, uh, real time events are gonna flow through this stream. Uh, and of course you will see some matrix since I was testing here. Here are the two lambda function, that is a preprocessor lambda and the stats lambda. Here is the SQS and the dead letter queue. And um, so if you observe now, we'll populate the data into this table, it will flow to the kinesis, it will be pre-processed, it will be in the SQS, the lambda will take and eventually I'll get the stats in this table. Amazing, absolutely flawless, okay? So let's watch this in action. And all of this is happening near real time. So I'm gonna go to the Python file called populate model.py. And here you can simply change the variable. So I'm gonna say, I wanna generate for five users. Five users are gonna create, let's say three posts and each uh, post there are 10, 10 comment, there are 10 comments and eight likes. So this is gonna create the fake data. So this is first we are creating the user, then for each user we are creating post and then for each post we are generating likes and we're generating comments. Okay, so now ready for the demo, right? Okay, so I'll, I'll try my best to make this a little small because since I run it, I want to show you near real time what's what's going to happen. So I'll try to bring this up. Uh, hopefully you should be able to see it here. I'm going to run this uh, shortly. Okay. Now we are going to come to the DynamoDB. We are going to come to the stats and of course we're going to click on explore. I don't have any data yet. Again, uh, I will run the file now. Let me just make sure all the settings. Just gonna review one last time. Five users, three posts, 10 comments, eight likes. This is happening real time, okay? Everything is happening at a pretty rapid rate. Ready? Okay, start. 
at this point people are you know interacting on linkedin they are creating posts they are commenting on the post the posts are being generated and observe all of this is happening at a very very rapid rate and see how dynamo db is scaling right now so what's happening as these users are interacting if you come to the block diagram now a lot of items is being inserted they are broadcasted on the kinesis data stream this will be processed by lambda into sqs and then to into this lambda and over here so if i go uh, over here and if i simply refresh there you go guys i see all the posts and all the stats here you can see for this post there are one like on this post there is seven like and i can keep refreshing and all of this is happening near real time look at this eight um you know eight comments on this particular post seven um comments on this particular post right and i can keep refreshing and all of this happens almost near real time right so what you have seen is a complete end-to-end -end demo uh, right the data flows through you know several stages right from dynamo to streams to lambda to sqs to lambda and to here so now this is my aggregated view where i can see you know bunch of um, uh, data here again i can see uh, on this particular post how many comments are there so there are eight comments uh, on this post there are eight comments and again the lambdas are written in a way for example just really really quickly without going too deep in the code um, so the lambdas are written in such a way uh, for example just want to show you here right if um, you know if the record coming from the stream is like we uh, call a function if a record coming from the stream is comment we call a function here basically what we do is here is the logic so first we try to fetch the post right if this post does not exist we initialize the post with 000 and then what happens is the next time when it comes we essentially check whether the post id is there if the post id is there and if the record is insert we increment the call uh, you know again the common counter and if it is uh, removed then we essentially decrement the counter i think i have a small typo i'll fix that so again this all happens near real time right now quickly want to share my screen Hopefully the webcam should load uh, pretty soon. So what you di did see is a full end-to-end -end demo, right? We really built a full-blown pipeline, which is essentially aggregating the data, all the, again, likes, comments, all of this in a new table, and all the user interaction is stored in the primary table. What you did see is all of that, all of this was happening at a very rapid rate. So AWS was scaling up the resources. Now you can even try this for thousand users. It's gonna work flawlessly. I have tested this, okay? So what you see is essentially all of this happens in near real time. You know, these posts are getting updated. The like counters are being updated. They are being inserted into the primary table. So all the resources and the code is available in the description section below. So I do encourage you guys to check this out. And as I said, right, DynamoDB is simply phenomenal. You can literally design anything and that will work at scale. You don't have to worry about scaling. Everything is managed by AWS. So in this video or the demo, you have essentially seen how to build and complete end-to-end -end aggregation pipelines. And I have taken an example of LinkedIn. Again, this could be applied to any uh, use cases. Again, if you have any more questions, list your questions and I'll list down my email addresses. And if you are curious to watch the first four parts, the first was data modeling. The second was a simple POC. The third part was uh, the design. We essentially design all the components. And the fourth part, that is this video, is a demo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this demo. With that being said, if you have any question, uh, write me an email or simply comment on the video and I'll try my best to answer as and when I get time. Thank you so much.